Valentine's Day, so that means, of course, love is in the air and maybe a little magic. For some people, right? <laughs> <laughs> we are welcoming our good pal, Gary Goodman, bringing all the magic, maybe some love. Gary, good to see you. That's right. You can call me the love magician today. Love right? magician. <laughs> I like that. It's a new genre. Right, right. <laughs> we do so, love when you're here. Well, I love being here. And uh, Valentine's Day, special time, correct? Uh -huh. And my family, whenever I you know, present a gift, they like to be presented the gift in a magical way. Okay. And especially my wife, you know, Valentine's Day, I give her the flowers, and then she expects something like mysterious. I call this the pan of mystery here. Okay. So we're going to try something. In fact, if I just say the magic words, Happy Valentine's Day, how about that? We've got some Hershey kisses for everyone. How about that? <laughs> Ooh, I'm happy already. Yeah. Thank, you. Gary, uh -huh. thank you, Gary. Thank you. It's not finished. <laughs> That always brings a smile to everyone's faces. Uh, it does. You know? That's one of the things I love about Valentine's Let's Day. Kiss. Yeah. Now, also, <laughs> also on Valentine's Day and on all the holidays, it's sort of a tradition in my household that I come up with something new, something magical. Right. So that's what we're going to do here. And, and since you were such a gracious volunteer the last time uh -huh. I was on the program, I thought it would work with Amber this time. Okay, I'm Amber, gonna... this is going to be really quick, but it does. I have to focus. I'm reading <laughs> okay. all of these. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to focus with. I know uh, they're like chocolate in our face. Hearts, but they have <laughs> XOXO. That's I'll right. take right. your focus. focus. Valentine's focus. magic. Valentine's focus. magic. So here's what I need you to do. Just think of a card, okay. any playing card out of 52 cards, uh, preferably not a joker. Okay. Just think of a really good card, and you're going to be amazed. I'm going to read your mind. Because I'm not only a magician, but I'm a mentalist, as you know. So okay. I'm going to read your mind. Okay. All right. Are you thinking of a card? Yes. Are you ready for me to name your card? Sure. The name of your card is Cupid. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Valentine's Day material. No, Valentine's would be, I don't know why. Oh, you have a phone, an important phone call. <laughs> I think Bob is calling. Bob said, hello. Bye, everybody. Oh, All right. goodness. Okay. Sorry All right. about All right. that. That's the, I feel like Bob just felt like we needed some music. That's wanted the to be beauty of live present. television. All exactly. right. This is going to be much longer than I planned. Okay. All right. So now you need to think of a card, any card. And I already told you the name of your card is Cupid. And I know you're, you're getting confused and you're getting phone calls. But let me explain. <laughs> um, I feel like the universe is telling well, I, I don't know why I keep thinking Cupid, and you're thinking of your card, and I, 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 you know what, because we're running out of time, tell everybody, what card are you thinking of? Because all I keep seeing and hearing in my mind is the word Cupid. I know it's Valentine's. I don't know why. Cupid, what card were you thinking? Cupid was calling to tell Maybe. you what card. <laughs> I was thinking the four spades. No, four of spades. Four of spades. All right, so let's go through the deck here. Um, and find, make sure we're on the same page. Out of 52 cards, you decided to think of the four of spades, this card here. Yes. Now maybe this will be a little more clear because you see, I named these cards words that related to Valentine's. Oh my God. You see, she thought of the four of spades. Let me give you some examples. Uh, had you said the jack of diamonds, see I named that card love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see, yeah, there it is, okay. <laughs> and had you thought of uh, the seven of diamonds, I named that card Candy, you Candy. see? And had you thought of today the three of clubs? Well, I gave that card the name Kiss. So you can see that all the cards uh -huh. have names, bouquet and uh, flirt, words that relate to Valentine's Day. Heart, I could go through all, but we don't have enough time. You thought of the four of spades. You thought of the four of spades. I thought of the the word Cupid. This is the big Valentine's magical moment. What did I write on the card you thought of? Stop it, Cupid. That's what that phone call was that told you. <laughs> you must have saw the text version. How about that? Is that great Valentine's magic? Wow. Yes. Unbelievable. Okay, so wow. we can see yes. more of your magic. Yes. You have a really fun event coming up. I do. What's happening? Well, I'm going to be at the uh, Holly Springs Cultural Arts Center on April 20th. Okay. Which is a Saturday night, and I'm going to do my full big show. Ooh. That's a beautiful theater, 180 seat theater, so it's very intimate. Every seat is a great seat. But it's going to be the big show. I'm not doing small things like cards and all that. Or a little I, I feel like that was big. I know. Well, also, I think and I thought, oh, I'm done for sure. We, call, okay. we okay. call what I did close-up magic. <laughs> but when I'm at the Cultural Arts Center on April 20th, I'll be doing what's called stage and illusion magic oh, and, and mentalism. I was going to ask, are you going to read the I'm going to be mind? reading people's minds. There's going to be a lot of audience participation, a lot of comedy, a lot of laughing. It's going to be a lot of fun. Same kind of show I do at the corporate events and at the country clubs and at the private parties. Cool. But now... 
those that want to see me can come to the Cultural Arts Center. And I heard there's not many seats left. Okay, I was going to say, yeah. we need tickets. we got to hurry up and you, get them. You really have to hurry because okay. they're selling fast. I have Very a question because cool. yes. it is Valentine's Day. Yes. Just real quick. What if the audience member have dirty thoughts? Do you say them out loud or do you just go on to the next person? Yeah, I Valid would definitely question. go on to the next person. I, I ne- <laughs> <laughs> he said, I don't want to let I never do anything embarrassing in the show. Nobody ever is embarrassed in my program. Oh, so you that's are nice. great. Well, Jenny, thank you. Thank this you. This has been magic. Thank you so much. Happy Valentine's you Day. Eat that magic. <laughs> and chocolate. <laughs> we'll share with you, too. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't need to. <laughs> just one is good enough. And one for David, because he's had a bad week. All right. (laughs) Yeah.